Welcome back to Holt High School. Rob Otto with you here after a barn burner of a match that saw Grand Ledge come from behind to win it at the end. And almost to add a little insult to injury when it's your home court, not only do you have to uh, lose the match, but you also have to roll up the mats and get them out of the way from the basketball court. An amazing match between these two, two of the best teams in the state, a couple of the best teams in the CAAC, but it was a 32 to 21 lead for Holt, the home squad with just three matches remaining. Had they won any of those last three matches, they would have handed the Comets their first conference defeat of the season. But the last three matches and the heaviest weights at 189, Nick Varen won three to one. At 215, it was Aaron Riley winning it three to one. And then the amazing with just six seconds left on the clock, the only way to win Win this one in regulation was Corey Arnott. He had to pin his opponent and he did with six seconds remaining. A huge come from behind victory. 33-32, the Grand Ledge Comets stay perfect in conference play. Now 7-0 with this one point squeaker of a victory over the home team, the Holt Ram. Welcome back here to the disc in Dearborn, Michigan as Divine Child comes away victorious 8-2 to two over Dearborn Unified, and they claim the trophy. There she is, the Mayor's Cup for 2012. And they've won it the last few seasons, so this is another year where Divine Child will go home with the trophy. And it was a tremendous game, and as the teams shake hands, we will go over some game highlights for you folks and it started off in the first period and it was all divine child off the turnover there it was Pearson getting the first goal putting up one nothing then off the power play here centering attempt no good went high but the puck gets deflected around finally finds the back of the net and it was Laird putting up two nothing and once again it was Mr. Zub this time and he salutes the crowd with that goal they go up three nothing uh, divine child will go up four nothing again here and it would be heist using his speed around the net and sneaks it in on the wraparound from the very tough angle. He's fired up about that one. Four nothing Divide Channel at that point. They would add a uh, second period now and it would be Unified finally getting on the board and it would be Austin Tyler in the opening moments of that court, uh, period. And then Unified uh, gives up one right here, right back at you a couple minutes later. It was Divine Child on the doorstep. Mr. Laird getting his second goal of the game, putting up five to one. Then it was Dearborn Unified again off the break. Uh, check that, that was Heights again, I'm sorry. Divine Child putting him up six to one at that point. And then it was Dearborn Unified trying to find something wide open centering pass there and finally Kevin Belvich puts it home six to two, but that would be as close as Dearborn Unified would get. Another goal here just before the second period expired. It was Scala, seven two score there. And then your final goal here, a beautiful outlet pass by Jimmy Rosnowski. Leads to the break, and he puts it in. Mr. Brad Popel, and that would be the 8-2 advantage for Divine Child, and they take home the Mayor's Cup. All right, there they are, still celebrating at center ice as Dearborn Divine Child wins the 2012 Mayor's Cup. Happy group there. <laughs> Welcome back here to Dundee High School, where Onstead pulls off a three-point victory over Dundee, 39-36 your final. It was Lexi Johnson leading the way for the Wildcats with 15 points. Let's jump into some first half highlights. We'll start in the first quarter, and it was Kelsey Ross. It was all her in the first quarter. She would have six points. She would get some offensive rebounds and some nice put packs in the paint for the Wildcats. And then the second quarter, it was Dundee making their comeback. It was Kelly Charbonneau, she had absolutely caught fire and she would chip in six points from everywhere on the court. She was drilling some shots and then it was number 20. They got the senior involved, Haley Buell, and she would finally get some good touches from inside. She finished with six first half points as well, but the turn of the second quarter would be Slater. She would hit this triple for onset, nothing but net, and then Ross right before the half with less than 10 seconds to go, 
She gives them a 17 16 halftime lead, favoring Onstead. Third quarter, the Vikings would go heavily to Haley Buell again. She would have seven points, and she was banging bodies inside. She would pace the way, and then she would lead them to a one point lead, 26 25, at the end of the third quarter. But the fourth quarter of play would belong to Onstead and Lexi Johnson. She had 10 points. She was tremendous from anywhere on the court. She hits this big triple off the glass to tie the game at 32. All right, then the icing on the cake, it was on the break. Kelsey Ross again, she finishes with the deuce here out in front of everybody, and that would be enough for the Wildcats to win this one.